I will come again. Here you can see a landscape I created using a Houdini. I bring it over to the Unreal Engine using landscape clips. Now I'm trying to assign a paint layer into this uh, place, basically sand layer. So I, I created the a texture, the paint layer from here. Basically it's a splat map. So I'm gonna drag that over here. I'll explain all those things in a moment. Now you can see here some sand. I can increase the intensity by increasing the brightness right then you can see it all here likewise you can add as many as uh, texture layers that you bring it from uh, any other place i can move this landscape here and there so i can e easily get a copy of that holding alter and they are blending together including the paint layer as well as you can use normal information height information uh, noises to to create paint layers procedurally right inside your engine all right now let's see how we can do all these things from scratch Right now we have fresh landscape over here. Here I have added a plugin called Terrain Magic. You can check the details below on how to get this plugin, even for free. And then you need to have a landscape with the landscape material. You can use any sort of landscape material, but it's nice to have alpha layers in that landscape material. So I have created another video about autoless materials. There I have explained about alpha layers. And make sure to enable the special option in this landscape and search here for edit layers so basically i need to enable feature called edit layers so that will enable a special functionality now uh, after you have installed this plugin into this project you can go to select landscape mode and go to the your sculpt brush and go to the uh, blueprint section now you can select some blueprint brushes over here here i try to uh, select a brush called terrain magic clip brush right so i can click somewhere on the screen so i'll see a brush over here now I go to my paint section. Here I'm trying to paint sand, but you can use any other layer. Here I select the sand alpha. I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate how to paint this layer in, in different ways. So you can select any sort of alpha layer that you have in your project, right? Uh, then everything is ready to start. All right, first let's import height map. I created using Houdini. So we can try to see how to add splat maps into that landscape. First, I need to go to the uh, sector section and I'm gonna search for clip. Here we have something called height map landscape clip. I can drag that into my scene, right? You can put it anywhere you like. So right now I'm gonna use some of the example maps that comes with Terrain Magic. You can uh, go to settings or in the content browser, make sure enable show engine content and show plugin content. Then you can search for Terrain Magic and you will have this Terrain Magic content. Here we have height maps, so you can see some example maps. So we can use them. About the height map, I'm gonna use this one, right? Then I say invalidate. So now you can see it over here. I'm gonna scale it a little bit. All right, okay, now we have it. All right, then I'm gonna do some fading because it will looks nice. I talk about all these things and you can check the documentation to learn more about these things. All right, so now it's nicely blended into my landscape. Yeah, we can continue. I think the height is a little bit higher Then I'm gonna reduce that too. Okay, cool. Now let's assign some paint layer over here. Go to your details panel. We have one general and there's another one called paint layer, layer painting and create a new paint layer settings, right? In the first item, you have to set a paint layer name. So you need to select sand alpha. So because that's the paint layer that we are interested in. And basically you need to select the paint layer from the landscape mode and you need to assign layer info file. So otherwise this won't work. Try to select use mask. And then I go to the uh, texture map mask, right? I'm going to enable this, then I'm going to drag a splat map, a mask that you created using some of the external software from Gaia or Houdini or any, anything you like. Right now I can simply hit invalidate. I see it uh, appear over here. Now I have some control like brightness and contrast. So I can play with those and try to get some really interesting result that I want. Since now we are using landscape clip, I can move it anywhere I like in my landscape. Also you can click this match landscape size box and it will expand to hold your landscape. And also you can make a copy and you can invalidate and you can mix them together, blend them together. And there are some other ways that you can paint your landscape clip and let's, let's try to see how we can do that. So in order to do that, I'm gonna delete this, uh, this landscape clips, go to my clip brush and I can do post render and it will clear everything. All right, now uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna get another clip called our noise clip noise landscape clip put it over here i want to expand into the whole area right now we have some noises over here i go a little bit faster because we have a separate video on how to use this noise and you can check the description below on how to get started with that 
All right, I think I like this one and then they let me add some fading. All right, let's start painting from scratch and go to the layer painting section over here. I can add a new element. So you can have multiple of them as well. Basically, I added the layer info file for this paint layer in my landscape tools. All right. Now there are some paint modes. I'm going to select the fill layer. So basically, if I click that, you can see all my landscape got some sand. You can see all, all over the place. So basically, that's what it does. It will paint my poor whole landscape with this one. But here I'm not interested in that. And there are some other modes as well. You can uh, use clear layer. So basically, it will remove everything uh, underneath this. So that's uh, another option. And this will be really handy in some other case. If you use a weight map landscape clip, and this will be really handy. I'll, I'll show you that in the end of this video. Uh, finally, we have something called use mask. And that's it's what we are interested in right now. So there are a couple of masks. I'll go one by one. First, I'm going to select normal mask. So because it's easy to see, I'm going to select enable and then hit invalidate. Now you see there are some uh, yeah uh, sand area over here based on normals. So uh, let me show you how to customize these parameters. Here uh, we have something called direction. So that's the normal direction. So we are interested in the C up direction. So everything pointing towards C up will be targeted over this one. I can control the area by uh, changing the contrast value. If I put a value like say high value, you can see I'm gonna reduce the area. But if you uh, try to reduce that number and then it will paint more. Now you can also use the brightness value and try to get uh, more of this sand and try to increase the sand strength. Right, and this is the uh, like a normal mask. This is really handy. Now let me try to uh, do something interesting. So here I try to put my sand over this bit over there, but not over here. So basically I try to control my sand based on the, uh, the height. So now, so you can use the height mask with this one. So I'm going to again uh, select my landscape clip. So basically you can mix um, and match these multiple masks and you can get interesting things. Right. I'm going to hide this for a moment because I can use that. I'm going to select the uh, height mask. I'm going to enable that. Now we have two parameters, range start and end. I'm going to start the range by minus 32,000. That's the maximum that we can go to the other side. And uh, yeah, range end uh, 2,000, that would be fine. Now I'm going to invalidate this one. Now you can see it will apply this sand only to this area, right? Also, now you have some uh, control over this mask as well. You can increase the brightness a little bit. You can see, you can see some uh, pronounce effect over here also yeah you can control with these sliders and and get the result that you are really looking for all right let's discuss some of the masks that we have so we can see how, what we can do with them now i'm going to hide the uh, both height mask and the uh, normal mask because i'm going to use something else here i'm trying to use the uh, location mask all right i'm going to select this location mask i'm going to enable that one i'm going to say invalidate all right, now it will uh, add a mask based on the location. So basically it's paint sand based on the location. Variable, it uses a center, but you can use uh, control that by uh, changing these uh, X and Y values. So basically this is the X and Y axis. And so X means red arrow, and I'm gonna move it like this one. Now you can see this paint area moves here like one. Uh, I try to keep it on the center. All right, and uh, let's try to expand this value a little bit. So you can see what it, what it does. So I'll put a value like 0 0.3, yeah, something like this. Right, now you can sand over here. Now you can uh, increase the brightness and try to change the strength like this, all right? And there are some other things. You can also invert this by clicking this uh, checkbox. And now you have something like this. So we invert the mask, all right? So that's uh, another thing we can do. So I'm gonna go out of this invert section. So here with this landscape, it's really hard to see, but this is a circular mask. So let me uh, hide the uh, landscape uh, height a little bit. Now you can easily see that. I'm gonna modify height over here. Right, so basically now you can see it's a circle, but it will be really interesting. We can have some variation in it, so we can do that. I'm going again, going to my paint section. So I'm doing this just for the demonstration purpose. You should not change the height. And here uh, I'm trying to uh, go to another mask called edge noise mask. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to enable that. Invalidate. Now you can see there are some like interesting shapes at the edges. I, I can find in this one. So basically I can increase the contrast. 
so I can get more of this and then I can increase the uh, scale and I can yeah do something like this all right and also if you want like use something bigger and you can go yeah like this now you can have interesting shapes and then you can control the uh, range start and end and you can fine-tune this a little bit even further right and then you can have seed and change the how it looks like and get the the result that you're looking for yeah i'm going to reduce the contrast a little bit right and here we have another mask called area noise mask basically it will add a noise to my whole area i'm going to remove the edge mask for a little bit uh okay and then i'm going to select the area noise mask enable it validate now you have something like this but you can change this very quickly i'm going to set the range start to something like this minus yeah something like this and then i can uh, increase the range end right now you can increase the scale a little bit and then you can get more interesting variations then you can easily work with this range and then range start and try to get something quite interesting and then you can uh, uh, control the uh, seed and get a different variation and also finally if you like you can enable the uh, noise mask edge noise mask as well and try to get something interesting and then uh, let me put back height again all right 30,000 that's the original height so now you have this and if you're interested in you can use some other masks like normal mask to control this further so basically you can mix and match these masks and try to get something that you really like all right now we have another landscape clip, clip called bitmap landscape clip so it will do something quite interesting and let me show you how it works so i'm gonna keep this noise landscape that we created and i'm gonna reduce the remove the the paint layer that we originally have i'm gonna create a new element okay and it will clear up everything i'm gonna select the uh, paint layer as sand alpha i'm gonna use the paint mode as fill layer so i'm gonna fill everything with sand right now we have this all right now i'm trying to remove my sand using this bitmap landscape clip i'm going to put it over here so it's an, another landscape clip so here you don't see anything to control height because this is only work with the the paint layer data so layer painting i'm going to go to that section so i can do fading if i want uh, i'll come back to that in a moment here i'm trying to design a new paint layer settings sand alpha again you can choose anything else as well here i'm trying to select sand alpha i'm going to remove a box out of here and then I'm going to select the paint mode as clear layer. Right, now you can see what it does. Basically, it will remove a box like this on my center. I can move this landscape clip anywhere I like. It will clear up the, yeah, you can see. And how we are doing this by using this uh, C index order. So basically, if you go to my outliner, so we have the noise landscape clip. So it, it has a C index of four. And we have uh, the weight map landscape clip. So it has a C index of six. Basically, it will try to lay over. So, so it will try to lay layer one by one based on this number. So it will put on top of that. So that's why how, how we can do that. And then if I put value like three uh, in my data, I cannot do anything. So basically, it will come below the uh, noise landscape clip and it, it can't do anything into that. Right now, we can see a sharp edge over here in this box, uh, which is not really interesting. Uh, so I'll try to do some fading. So in this paint layer settings, I have another option called fading. fading. I'm going to select the uh, it has let's say box mask right then it will get something like this and then I can control this if I want like this and uh, yeah I think this is interesting let's say I need to like uh, change the location of my landscape clip the original noise landscape clip so I'm going to select it I'm going to move to some area like I'm going to say invalidate so now you can see my bitmap landscape clip stayed here and it will try to remove paint which is in a place that we are not interested in so basically in this case what you can do is you can paint this weight map landscape clip actor into your noise landscape clip now if you change the location of this noise landscape clip like this and now you can see this weight map landscape clip also comes with that one if i invalidate that it will try to invalidate on the correct position all right uh, that's it for today see you soon with something interesting bye